Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844 236 6010 is our number. If you have questions about nutrition or health or health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, questions about the longevity products or common or success story you'd like to share, our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you'd like to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase Longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business or just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. You can write off your home office, your tax, uh, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. And of course, if you want to work the business, you can make your own hours and earn as little or as much money as you like. There's uh, folks making quite a significant about a, amount of money. Some folks are just making a couple hundred bucks a month, all for just sharing, all for just helping spread the word. If nutritional supplementation has helped you or your loved ones, you owe it to the world to help change some lives. If you benefited, give it back, pay it forward. The reason I do this is because I've seen so many people benefit from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack and the ideas that we promote at Longevity. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't share the information, if I didn't stand on top of the roof and scream, hey, we don't have to be sick. There's a nutritional supplement program that you can have delivered to your door once a month that will change your life, that will allow you to wean yourself off your medication, that will uh, uh, stimulate the weight loss to the extent of 100, 150, 200, 250 pounds. I, I have a friend who lost 250 pounds by using the Longevity products. And it's not even the Longevity products as much as it's the interaction between the products and your body. It's the body that does the work. We're not sick, folks. We're starving. We're missing the raw materials the body needs to do its work. It's really as simple as that. Longevity is about providing the human body with those raw materials, the mighty 90 essential nutrients. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Bend team, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. We've been talking about the stress response, or technically, as Hans Selye The uh, biochemist who came up with the concept back in the 1920s calls it the general adaptation syndrome. This is a, uh, when you have a syndrome, you have a bunch of different things happening in the body all underneath one specific umbrella. Leaky gut syndrome, for example, is a syndrome that can cover arthritis and dementia and autoimmune diseases, all due to the umbrella or underneath the umbrella of leaky gut. Metabolic syndrome is a syndrome that can cover high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, obesity, kidney disease, liver disease, fatty liver disease, all under the umbrella of metabolic, uh, of the metabolism, specifically the blood sugar metabolism. 
The general adaptation syndrome is a syndrome that can raise your blood, uh, that can uh, involve things like hypertension, elevated heart rate, weight gain, fatigue, salt cravings. This is all underneath the heading of the general adaptation, the way the body adapts. It's a three-part system, three-part program, if you will. A-R-E, adaptation, uh, alarm. That's the first thing that happens is we freak out, our body freaks out, our biochemistry freaks out. Then it resists whatever that stress is. This is according to theory. And then we become exhausted. Alarm, resistance, exhaustion are the three parts, the three stages of the general adaptation syndrome, which is a description of what the body goes through when it attempts to deal with something, specifically when it attempts to deal with a change. Remember, stress is a type of change. We can handle certain amounts of change within a window. The body has a, for example, the, uh, the uh, um, blood pH has to be within a window of 7.35 to 7.45. If it drops underneath 7.35, if it goes on the left side of the window or the outside of the window on that side, on the left side, on the low side, you go into alarm. That alarm is manifested as a whole sequence of biochemical changes that are designed to get the blood pH back up again. Now, if it happens over and over and over again, eventually the system will become exhausted. It won't be able to do its work. So that's where adrenal exhaustion, adrenal fatigue, or as Hans Selye calls it, the exhaustion stage of the uh, general adaptation syndrome. Changes can be handled. It's only when, when they're overwhelmed, when the body is overwhelmed and changes. Changes need to be managed, and they can be managed under healthy circumstances. They are managed. Change management or stress management, stress equaling, equaling change, stress management, change management is manifested biochemically by cortisol. And cortisol takes care of things quite efficiently when the changes are not long-term and chronic and over and over and over again. Classic example of how cortisol kicks in when we, uh, when our, our, we go through some kind of dramatic change is when we eat sugar. That's a classic example. We eat sugar. Insulin will pull the sugar out of the blood. We get tired. This is a, a cycle that continues for many people from birth to death. We eat sugar, sh insulin comes to the rescue, pulls that sugar out of the blood, we get low blood sugar, hypoglycemic, and we get tired. Under conditions of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, guess what comes to the rescue? Cortisol. Cortisol comes to the rescue when we're hypoglycemic for a couple of reasons. One reason, one of cortisol's main jobs is to stimulate the release of sugar from the liver. Got, we've got liver storage of sugar. So cortisol comes to the rescue. It stimulates the release of sugar from the liver. Now you've got high blood sugar again. Guess what happens? The insulin comes out, pulls that sugar out. The cortisol comes back up. It releases the sugar, and we go on and on this way. This is one of the reasons why we gain weight under, the, under conditions of excessive amounts of cortisol as well as excessive amounts of uh, 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 or chronically eating sugar. Cortisol also will stimulate the heart rate and raise the blood pressure and change our breathing and will keep you from falling asleep. So all of this low blood sugar kind of stuff, I call it the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster, can cause all of these hypercortisol uh, signs of hypercortisolism. Insomnia is a classic example. Cortisol gives you coffee energy. In fact, coffee is a type of cortisol. Not really, but caffeine has many effects that are similar to cortisol. We're going to talk about that here in the coming days. How, how we are so dumbed down, how we are so, become so resistant to our body's natural cortisol that we have to take it out, take it into the body externally in the form of coffee, in the form of drinks, monster drinks. Caffeine drinks and caffeine energy shots, and not to mention coffee and tea, are everywhere. There's probably 99% of the planet is ingesting caffeine, cortisol, that is, in the form of some of these substances. I don't know if it's 99%, but it's a lot of people are ingesting outside exogenous cortisol in the form of caffeine because our cortisol system is so dumbed down. Our body is so resistant to cortisol from its chronic secretion. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are 
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com and benfuchsarchive.com and brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, you can review them with search engines at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives and benfuchsarchive.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also purchase our truth treatment products, all four truth treatments, truth retinol 5% gel, and our truth transdermal C serum, and truth transdermal C balm, and our truth omega-6 healing cream at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, water, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Any of our truth treatments, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, there's nothing better than vitamin C and retinol, nothing better. There's certainly more potent in terms of hydroquinone, but not, there's nothing more effective and non-toxic than vitamin C and vitamin A for lightening the skin. You'll get both of those in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Vitamin C, of course, is good, uh, important for stimulating collagen production, as is retinol. All our Truth Treatments are healing products as well as beauty products because beauty is healing. Health is beautiful. Beauty is health. They're all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking cortisol and stress and coffee energy. Coffee energy is cortisol energy. It's a jittery energy. It's important. You've got to have it. Remember, cortisol is stress management. Not stress. We think of cortisol as being some kind of demon. It's not necessarily a demon. It's the chronic exposure over and over and over again. That's where we run into a problem. Chronically running on coffee energy, chronically running on jittery cortisol energy is the problem. It's not... The cor- it's not the coffee energy or the cortisol energy that's the problem. It's chronically running on that kind of energy. It's functional. You need it. It's got, it helps get you through the jam of hypoglycemia, for example. The problem is the chronic exposure, and unfortunately, this is how most of us live our lives. As it turns out, the more chronically exposed we are to this stuff, to cortisol, the more we're gonna, uh, the more uh, we're gonna need outside stimulation, and that's why coffee and, and caffeine-containing drinks are the number one consumed beverage. Not to mention five-hour energy, and the, now they have these shots and and caffeine pills. I don't know what the numbers are, but in this country anyway, it's got to be 80% of us are running on on cortisol energy via caffeine. Huge amount of us. I, I don't know what the number is, but if you factor in chocolate and soda and and, and uh, energy drinks in addition to coffee and tea, it's got to be it's got to be eighty to ninety percent of us. So small amounts of cortisol are, are incredibly important and functional. And as it turns out, small amounts of cortisol and small amounts of stress can actually be a good thing. Not just beneficial to getting us through a jam, but small amounts of the stress of stress and stress hormone. And I mean sharp bursts of stress hormone, sharp spikes of stress hormone that drop quickly can actually stimulate growth. They can actually be growth enhancing. That's what exercise is all about. What we call exercise is manifested biochemically by spikes in these kinds of hormones that drop short bursts of cortisol, short bursts of stress hormones, short bursts of, uh, of some kind of burden or, or, or change in the body can be leveraged. If we do them occasionally, we can leverage them. You know, and by saying, when I say doing them occasionally, I mean periodically with long term, long rest between, like when you're exercising. When you're exercising, you want to have a day on and a day off. That's why people work their upper body or lower body. You know, when you go into the gym, sometimes you'll see people, oh, I'm working upper body today. I'm working lower body today. I'm doing my arms today. I'm doing my legs tomorrow. We, we, we uh, scatter the body parts throughout. Well, that doesn't sound good. We, we do different body parts throughout the week uh, in the gym because we're uh, uh, leveraging the rest period. So you do your arms on Monday. You do your legs on Tuesday. You do your glutes on Wednesday. And Tuesday and Wednesday, your arms are, work, are, are growing. Taking days off is also important. Just completely taking days off. It's the understanding exorrest. I call it exorrest. Exercise and rest, understanding this yin and yang, or yang and yin, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Stress and rest, stress and rest, stress and rest. This is how you upregulate bone development. If you're worried about osteoporosis, weight-bearing exercises on the bone, turn the bone on, turn on bone growth. All connective tissue and muscle tissue responds this way. The brain responds this way as well. 
when you're doing a problem, when you're trying to solve a problem, you don't want to sit there and ponder and ruminate forever. You want to ponder and ruminate a little bit, really try to figure it out, and then you want to stop thinking about it. This is how you solve. This is the this is the effective way to solve problems. You give your brain a challenge, and then you forget about it. I, I tell a story about how I became a, a, a lover of chemistry, a, a lover of biochemistry, when I was in. Uh, when I was in college, when I took, first took organic chemistry, when I first took chemistry, I didn't know what the heck was going on. I, I, I always thought I was, re, I thought I was just mentally deficient. And I had always been pretty smart, and I was taking organic chemistry. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I ended up having to drop the course. So I was depressed. I dropped organic chemistry. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then, um, so I didn't think about it from October to January. And then I go in in January, the first time I, I, I took, I had to take it again. And first day of school, boom, I understood it instantly. Between the time I dropped it when I didn't understand anything about organic chemistry and, and the four or five months that I didn't think about it, something happened in my brain. That's how you solve problems. You know, we have two kinds of, we have two kinds of, uh, there's two ways that we think. This was, there's a really cool book called Fast and Slow Thinking by a guy named Daniel Kahneman, K-A-H-N-E-M-A-N. He's a, uh, he's a Nobel Prize winning economist. And he realized that there's two ways, or he, he, was, he didn't realize it, but he, he somehow discovered that there were two ways that the brain processes information. There is type one thinking, which he calls fast thinking, and there's type two thinking, which he calls slow thinking. Fast and slow thinking is the name of the book. And fast thinking is the kind of thing we do quickly. Slow thinking is the kind of thinking we do over the course of time. Slow thinking is where we really make our good decisions. Fast thinking is for emergencies, and the body is much the same way. There's a fast way of operating, and there's a slow way of operating. The fast way of operating is very important for helping us handle emergencies, but the slow way of operating, the long-term way of operating, is where we build and where we grow. In the brain, it's where we make good decisions. So without stress, without pushing past where the body is comfortable, without getting out of our comfort zone, and that's true about the body as well as it's true for the psyche, we don't grow. Growth in the body and growth in the mind and growth in the brain are all a, a, a function of quick bursts of stress. It is stress that compels us to, to grow. It's what exercise is all about. And we understand that we can, move our, we can grow our bodies by exercising, by putting our stress on our body. We all know that. We all know that by lifting weights, you'll have bigger biceps. It's obvious. We don't often think about it with the rest of the body. One place is, by the way, is the skin. Actually, all the connective tissue. The connective tissue is the part of us that degrades and deteriorates as we get older. The connective tissue is incredibly responsive to stress. The biochemistry is responsive to stress. There's a, there's a link between uh, the immune system and the inflammatory system and stress that is also related to growth. The immune system and the inflammatory system is tied in with the stress system. And this all happens via really very fascinating chemicals called cytokines, also known as interleukins. You probably heard of Stellara and Taz. The latest, greatest drugs are actually drugs that leverage the, the, the uh, pain relieving drugs, I should say, and anti inflammatory drugs, or drugs that leverage this relationship between cortisol and the inflammatory system, cortisol and the immune system. We'll talk about that when we come back. From, actually, we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll get your phone calls when we come back from our break. 844 236 6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Benny for four two three six sixty ten is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have skin health questions or formulation questions or greeting questions, or if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, eight four four two three six. 6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here momentarily, and we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. From uh, this is from uh, the uh, journal, The Conversation. An estimated one in nine women experience symptoms of postpartum depression. But guess what? When you feel, when a mom feels depressed, her infant feels depressed as well. So postpartum dep depression doesn't just affect the mom. It also affects the infant, particularly if the infant is breastfeeding. The relationship between mother and, and infant is biochemically intimate. 
especially through breast milk, but even through just looking as a baby gazes into a mother's eyes, biochemistry changes. This biochemistry actually, uh, this uh, effect of mother to, bi uh, to baby's biochemistry begins in the womb, and it turns out that moms who are under stress, or moms-to-be who are under stress, are actually creating a, an infant, to a baby-to-be, who is going to be more sensitive to the effects of cortisol. Moms can sensitize their babies to cortisol when the baby is in the womb. This is really important, and the opposite is also true. Laughter can actually stimulate the baby's uh, uh, growth systems. Chemicals that are responsive to growth are actually stimulated by movement. At when, when a mother laughs, the baby's actually bouncing around like on a trampoline. This can stimulate growth and development. When a mom laughs, the fetus is bouncing around the womb like the fetus is on a trampoline. You can just imagine it. Just like little kids like trampolines and babies like bouncing up and down, your fetus is bouncing up and down when you laugh. Same with oxygenation, by the way, and also music. And tastes, for that matter. Do you know a fetus can actually experience the tastes uh, between somewhere between three, uh, maybe four months, three or four months, somewhere in there? A baby can actually taste different flavors through amniotic fluid. You can make your baby appreciate taste more, more sensitized to taste. Happiness, excitement, taste, breathing, voice, music. All these are great ways that you can... You can build your uh, and improve and uh, support fetal development while, while the baby's in the womb. The opposite is also true. Excessive amounts of cortisol will sensitize the baby to cortisol in the womb. Moms, relax. Chill out. One of the best ways to relax, of course, is to make sure that you and your baby have enough nutrients. That's another underappreciated cause of sp a spike in stress hormones. Malnourishment. And that malnourishment can occur from lack of nutrients or it can occur from lack of absorption of nutrients. So just getting on an all-around healthy nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Star Pack can help reduce your cortisol and reduce your baby's cortisol as well. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Stephanie, who's been holding on a long time. Let's see, get Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, good morning. Hi, Ben. Thanks for taking my call. What's going on? How you doing? Oh, doing good. I'm right. calling in today yeah. to speak about my father-in-law. Okay. He had a heart attack 25 years ago. Okay. He has had multiple stents put in his heart. Did he have a? Uh, ha, how old is your? How old is he? First of all. He's 65. Oh my goodness! And the only thing he's had surgically is stents. Uh, yes, okay. and um. And when they, when he went in for surgery one time about 15 years ago, he uh, got bacterial meningitis in the hospital and was in a coma for several days. And he came out of that as a diabetic. Oh my goodness! Um, so hang on yeah. here, just so the surgery was a stent. They did the surgery to put the stent in. Is that what you're saying? And he came Correct. out a diabetic? Okay. All right. Well, he got bacterial meningitis from it. And then over this past weekend, he just had a stroke. Okay. Well, this is a guy who's going to benefit tremendously from a nutritional supplement program. He probably hasn't done any nutritional yeah. supplements, right? No, he is on okay. the sad diet for sure. Okay. All right. Well, they call it the sad diet for a reason. Are you a nutritionist or healthcare person or anything? I just am following longevity. Okay, good. All right, so here's the deal. The good news is, is he's going to notice a huge difference once he gets on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Huge. His body will suck up those nutrients like a dry sponge sucks up water. You ever see a plant that hasn't been watered for like a week, and then all of a sudden you put water in it, and you can almost see it blossoming in front of your eyes, and then like a couple hours yeah. later, it's like a completely different plant? That's what's going to happen to your to your father-in-law. That's what happens when a body that has not had nutritional supplementation ever, which is a lot of us, uh, or under, has been undernutriated uh, for a lifetime, all of a sudden gets nutrition in copious, generous, abundant amounts. Now, he's going to need way more than the BTT, but that will make a huge difference. You should get him on it today. If you have some, do you, does he live close by? Is he, do you have access to the guy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, get your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, just bring it to him, okay? okay. Also, also, chicken soup, liquid protein. Between liquid protein and liquid micronutrients, you're going to change this guy's life. Okay? Now, there's many more things okay. you're going to need to do. 
You want them on the Healthy Star Pack, I would use the Fucoid Z. I would get them on the Ultimate Selenium, do all the digestive things, Nightly Essence, Ultimate Enzymes, all of that. You could, but you want to start them off slowly, and the ideal way to do this is to get him to see how much better he feels. You follow me, Steph? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So homemade, between homemade chicken soup and, and uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, small amounts of the BTT, by the way. Don't overdo it. You know, don't, don't follow those crazy directions where you do two scoops all at once. Okay? Okay. Uh, just do a, t a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon in water, have him sip on it, maybe a couple teaspoons, gradually build up. The more he does, the better, but gradually build up to it. Okay? Uh, and okay. then once he gets going with it, he's going to ask you what to do, and that's where you want to be. Uh, he probably should be on coenzyme Q10, like, immediately. That's another immediate one. Yeah. He should be on magnesium immediately. Get a book called The Sinatra Solution. Dr. Stephen Sinatra okay. has written a lot about um, uh, MIs and heart disease and things that you can do. Later on, you're going to want to control his blood sugar and a lot of other things, but this is where you want to start, okay? Beyond Tangy Tangerine, okay. lots of homemade chicken soup. Move them into the Healthy Start Pack, and then everything else that we just talked about, the ultimate enzymes and the nightly essence and the blood sugar stuff. And then right away, get them on coenzyme Q10 and the OsteoFX. Um, those are for the magnesium and the coenzyme Q10, both incredibly important for the heart. You're going to change this guy's life if you do this correctly. Okay? I hope so. Okay. Steph, have a great day. Okay. Good luck. God bless you. Thank you. All you right. It, I, I find that to be... The coolest thing about nutritional supplementation is the sicker we are, the faster our body will absorb those nutrients. So if you have lots of weight to lose, you're on lots of meds, you had been surgically manipulated, or you know somebody who's, in, uh, who's enduring these kinds of circumstances, and they're not on a supplement program, watch what happens. Just watch what happens. All right. Let's uh, get to Sue in Florida. What's going on, Sue? Good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on? Um, I had a skin issue. Okay. Um, I get my hands and my feet. I get these little bumps on the fingers, on, on the sides of my fingers, on the palm of my hands. Okay. They're little, tiny little bumps, and they like get very pimples? hard, and they dry Would you say? Out. Would you say they're pimples? They're like the size of pimples? But, no, not even. They're very, very tiny. Okay, gotcha. Are they like goosebumps? Yeah, some like goosebumps, and then they get like in a cluster. Okay, hang on. Don't go away, all right? I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then we're going to take care of it, okay? Don't go away, Sue. Okay. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more of your phone calls. More of your phone calls. Don't go away. We're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here talking to uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. Talking to Sue in Florida. Hey, Sue. Hi. Hey, so you got little bumps on your hands and feet. Uh, are they like yeah. between your fingers, between your toes kind of thing? Or are they just on the top? or what? On, the sides, on the sides of my finger and in between my toes. Okay, gotcha. And on the palms of my hands. Okay, gotcha. You are definitely reacting to something. That is a reaction. They come and go, or are they, or are they always there? Well, it, it started a year ago, and it's been ongoing ever since. No, but does it get worse and get and and go get better? It's now better? getting worse. Yes. It, it, it gets worse. And, does it get worse and get better, or does it just steadily get worse? It's just getting worse. Okay. What else you got? How old are you, first of all? I'm seventy-three. How, uh, what else you got going on? This is not a primary problem. It's a secondary problem. So you must have some other stuff going on. Give me some uh, idea. Are you on any meds? The only thing I have is a thyroid medication. That's it. Th that ain't no only. That's huge. That means you're hypothyroid. That's the probably the that's the be that's the beginning of all your problems. Remember, the thyroid is the jumping off point to all health challenges. So when you're hypothyroid, everything slows down. Plus, you know, when we're getting to be in our 70s, things slow down anyway. So you got to figure out why things are slowing down like this. And, and by the way, if you're hypothyroid, you got to have digestive issues, blood, uh, uh, heart issues. You can't be hypothyroid and have and not have anything else. So either you don't know it, or you haven't noticed it, which in which case you should start to notice it because there's other things happening, or. Uh, um, well, no, you must not be noticing it. They got to be there. So here's what we want to do. All right, we want to figure out the major reason why we are thyroid, uh, we're hypothyroid, we're thyroid suppression is uh, because of the digestive tract. And there's a couple reasons for that. I don't have time to get into, but that's the first place you want to focus on. How long have you been on the thyroid meds, by the way? 
A um, couple of years. What's I two years? Milligrams. Are we yeah, talking two years? Two years. Uh, right? No, it's longer than that. Maybe okay. four, maybe five. Okay, so it's been going on for a while. Now, uh, it's very common as women get older for this to occur. You're not alone. So we want to figure out what's putting a burden on the body. It usually comes in through the digestive system. There may be autoimmunity that's involved. Either way, it's a digestive health challenge. So you've got to focus on the digestive system first and foremost. Thyroid hormone is activated by gut bacteria. So making sure that your intestine is hospitable for gut bacteria by be making better food choices for sure, eating less food, using the nightly essence probiotics, apple cider vinegar with your meals, and digestive enzymes. What's that? Mm -hmm. Keep doing that. I do, do I do a lot of the apple cider vinegar. I do. Keep and doing I, it. Keep, I, keep doing it. You got to focus on the gut. You got to eat. If do you don't know. Of, uh, go ahead. Fermented food. Good, 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 good. But something's still in there. Just, there's still something going on in there because you wouldn't have the bumps. The bumps are a sign that your thyroid is not working as it should, and it's a sign that you're, something's leaking through your gut. And it's, it's a sign that you're not processing food correctly. Put it that way. So enzymes. Where do I start? You start with a food diary. Write down everything you eat. And then when you notice a food causing a problem, you eliminate that food. Now, you can also do a swear OV cleanse for three days and see what that does to the bumps. If you do a swear mm -hmm. OV cleanse... If you do a swear OV cleanse and the bumps improve, that's great news. Even if they don't improve, you're still going to do the food diary and the elimination diet. But it could very well be that when you do the swear OV cleanse, the bumps improve, especially if they're related to something you're eating all the time. Now, the next thing you want to do for the the next thing you want to do for the thyroid is keep your blood sugar stable. And I I don't have time to go into all the things to do for that, but just know to keep your blood sugar stable by avoiding foods that spike your blood sugar, the sweets and the breads, and maybe using the sweeties as well. And then uh, last but not least relax the body as much as you can through SDR breathing, slow deep rhythmic breathing, extra rest, a little bit of, of lymphatic movement, bouncing on a rebounder or maybe walking briskly up the stairs followed by lots of rest, extra rest, stimulating, going past your comfort zone and then following it up with, with lots of rest. The point I'm making here is you've got to deal with the thyroid issue. You don't have a skin problem. You've got a thyroid problem and then you've got the reasons that are causing that thyroid problem. Don't look at it as a skin problem and don't fall victim to the, the crazy thing that people do when something shows up in the skin and that's going to a dermatologist. There's no Nothing a dermatologist can do for you. It pretty much there's nothing a dermatologist can do for anybody, but especially if you're dealing with something that's secondary to the thyroid, which itself is secondary to uh, uh, bl uh, blood sugar and digestive health issues. All right, I hope I helped you, Sue. That's a lot of information for you. Uh, and if you have any questions, please, uh, any more questions, please feel free to call back. Let's go to Dan in Tennessee. Good morning, Dan. Hi, Ben. Can you What's hear going me? on, buddy? Oh, I'm just driving down the road. All righty. What can we? Have? How can I help you? I was want to tell you that I uh, I've been having problems with hemorrhoids for a long time. Are you a truck driver? Yeah. Okay. Not uncommon. Move uh, that body. Move your legs. Uh, Move your circulation. Yeah. Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a sign that the blood is pooling. That the venous blood, the blood that's supposed to return to the heart, make the return trip to the heart. The circulatory system is a big circle. It goes down and then it goes up like a circle, down and up, uh, around the body, down from the heart, through the arteries, and up through yeah. the veins, back to the heart. Hemorrhoids and varicose veins, and they're the same thing pretty much. Hemorrhoids are varicose veins of the hemorrhoidal tissue. And by the way, hemorrhoids refer to the hemorrhoidal vein. We just call it hemorrhoids. What we really mean is an inflamed hemorrhoidal vein. It's a varicose vein basically, and it's a sign that the blood is not making the return trip. There's a couple, there's a few reasons for yeah. that. Go ahead. I've heard, I've heard you say that before, and I was never really uh, come up with any good way to stop the bleeding. Move, move uh, the body and keep yeah. the blood, keep the two major reasons why the, vein, why the veins, or the venous blood, I should say, pools up is because of a lack of movement. This is why truck drivers get it, because they're sitting, sitting a lot. Lack of movement, number one, and also constipation. Number two. Hey, so, so let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you what I found out. Yeah. And I heard, and I got me some bentonite clay. Yeah. I, I clean, I clean that area real good at night before I go to bed. Yeah. I put a little bit on my, I put a little bit on my middle finger. And I stick it up in there by a half inch and spread it around, and 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 I go to bed. And I've been after I've been doing that, I've been working. Okay. Um, Has it been working for you? Oh, yeah, it works. That's, that's interesting. I, I bentonite, no cl bentonite clay is kind of a tight, has, has minerals in there that'll tighten things up. And that might, uh -huh. 
and that might keep that might uh, put enough pressure on the veins that it forces the blood upward. I could see why that's working, but I'd still be concerned with why you're pooling up like that. So get on a rebounder, man. Get you could if you have a truck, you know, just carry a rebounder with you, oh, and yeah. then go ahead. Uh, I do a little walking. I do no, a little, a little walking isn't going to do it, man. You're like probably you're probably in your fifties, right? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. You need more than a little walking. <laughs> you got to move but, like you were a kid. It's been cold though here last. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But I just want to tell you, no, you're not an ice road trucker. Have you ever seen that show, Ice Road Truckers? Oh yeah, I love driving on snow. Nah, come on. You travel around with a little rebounder. Keep it in the back there. And then once every couple of days, pull the rebound around and jump. It's not that hard. You'll warm up. Do it when it's cold and you'll warm up. You can do more work. All I right. Want to tell you, yeah? Go ahead. I want to tell you about a time that I was on these inline skates and I fell over on my elbow and it felt someone punched me in my ribs. And I was taking the bear and the pain would leave for 50 minutes and then come back. And I took two cayenne pepper capsules yeah. and the pain left. That's never great. Came never came back. I love cayenne, man, especially if you have heart problems. Cayenne is amazing stuff. There's a really cool book called Left for Dead. Anybody dealing with heart problems, this guy, I think he was an advertising executive named Dick Quinn. Uh, he wrote a book called Left for Dead, and he talks about using Hawthorne and cayenne uh, and have, ha, how he had better results than any, any drugs that he got from the doctor using Hawthorne, which is an herb. And by the way, it's in Cardio FX and also cayenne. A little cayenne every day is awesome stuff. Just right, a little bit. Does. Uh, all right, Dan, I want to get one I want to get one more call in, but uh, okay, thanks so much for your call. Appreciate later. it. Safe driving. All right, Dorium in Maryland, you get the last word. What's going on? Hi, Ben. Hey, Dorium. I, I have a couple questions for you. I have two friends. One yes. recently had uh, two weeks ago had um, a total hysterectomy. Oh my. And How old? How old was she? She's about 61. Okay. Unbelie- unbelievable. Let me just say and, that. Unbelievable. Yeah. And Did she have she, cancer? Well, that's, her uterus was a little in. But she didn't have cancer. They just took it out. Hello? Oh, no. We lost Dorian. Dorian, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. But uh, anyway, we're running out of time here. Uh, Dorian, you can call back tomorrow uh, at uh, 844-236-6010, and we can finish up with you. I'm not sure where you went. You're still blinking on my board here, but you're not there. So apologize, Dorian. And anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products. And please think about joining The Bright Side Ben team. love to have you on my team for a one-time $25 fee. You could start a longevity business. And uh, also please check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.